Hi, I'm Anna. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Cork, Ireland. I grew up in a loving family with one sister and two brothers. And my parents um, have been married for nearly 30 years and they're very much in love, like two gooey-eyed teenagers already. <laughs> um, thankfully, growing up mass um, and grocery was pretty common for us. Mom was also involved in Opus Day, and so I was. I went to a lot of retreats, um, and sharing my faith there was always a blessing. Because in school, it was always kept hush hush because it was very much wanted to fit in. It was kind of scared of what people would think of me. Um, and when I was 15, I was invited to go to a camp called Camp Veritas in Maynooth, and the atmosphere there was like nothing I'd ever experienced before. There were about 200 kids there, all from different backgrounds, but most with this intense love for Jesus and it opened my eyes to the intense joy of the faith and I became home buzzing and on fire with the Holy Spirit and itching for more. As the years went on, I became free of what others thought of me and my faith started to, de to deepen. Um, this came to light when I was 17, when I was asked my opinion on the abortion referendum going on at the time. I tried my best to put the most truthful and accurate arguments forward to my classmates, but unfortunately they weren't, didn't always want to listen. Um, and I was openly mocked for my views um, by people who I thought were my friends. Um, that same year was also the start of a major event in my life. Um, my mood and appetite were very gradually starting to decrease and I had no motivation to do anything at all. And my schoolwork went to pot. Um, I also was severely underweight uh, and frequent migraines were my constant companion. I went to my local GP and my doctor and she explained my symptoms by a way as um, exam anxiety. Um, the day I got my leaving cert results, I went to the local churchyard with my parents to open them. And after calculating up my points, I burst into tears as I had done it really badly. Um, in January 2020, um, I was, um, I had, after several trips to the doctor, I was diagnosed with um, clinical depression and I was given medication to help. Um, my mom wasn't convinced that that was the problem though and I, I was still having migraines and I started to have little seizures but I didn't tell anyone about the seizures. I wasn't really sure if that's what they were and they didn't really happen very often. I was sent to a scan after being sick at work and losing my vision. Um, I was then diagnosed with a grade 1 B9 brain tumour. So I was actually sort of relieved when we found out because I now had an answer for how I had been feeling. Um, the following five weeks would be the toughest time that I would ever have gone through. Um, I had surgery to remove my tumour and I was very sick afterwards. I had a very bad reaction to the drugs I was given and I lost the ability to speak for a number of days. I then started to lose cognitive function. I was unable to keep my food down and ended up with a feeding tube. I was very close to losing my life. Um, the hospital had been completely locked down due to COVID-19. However, because I was so sick, mom was allowed to stay with me, watching over me and looking after me. Uh, she would send out messages begging for prayers, knowing at that stage I needed a miracle. Um, despite their best efforts, my medical team seemed to be at a loss for anything to do. So there was a change in me when mom said a prayer in front of the Blessed Sacrament and she brought me over in front of the Divine Mercy, to whom I had always had a great devotion. Uh, Mom told me that I lit up and I started beaming. Um, although I couldn't speak, I do remember the feeling of pure joy. Um, back the ward, the sisters all started asking me how I got on and Mom told me that my face was lit up and I started re repeating I love you to my mom over and over again. I remember feeling incredibly happy and full of love in that moment. I also remember that when I looked at Mom, I didn't see her but someone who seemed like Our Lady. She was incredibly beautiful and she filled me with peace. All my pain was taken from me and I heard her voice telling me to never give up hope and I'll never forget those words. So that was it. While in hospital, while weak and in pain, I felt the closeness of God in a whole new way. The Lord allowed surgery on my heart and my head to give me a new heart. And then on the 25th of March, the Feast of the Annunciation, I was finally discharged from hospital and despite my many complications, I have great faith and thankfully I'm well enough to be in Holy Family.